Hello guys. I know it's been a while since I have made a video before, but I've just been super busy and I got a job, so you're probably going to have to expect much less out of me, but I did uh, find some time to do a video because this is a fan that probably a lot of you are familiar with at this point. This is a Bell and Hollow socket fan and... I got this at Menards, paid, uh, this was not cheap, this was $40. And I honestly thought it was kind of ridiculous, especially because it was uh, a fan, um, a very small fan, uh, to be honest, like around 16 or 15 inches, somewhere around that range. And, I d and being this is LED, I, and you, if you guys know me for a while, you know that I just don't like LED, but I tested this before, and I've got to say I'm pretty impressed by it. It does have some things I wish that it, uh, like, I, when I saw this, I thought it would be much smaller fan so it could fit in this uh, light, but it was not that small fan like I thought it was. So, consequently, I'm using both of the extender down rods on this fan. Until I can find one that is smaller, I would like this fan to have a, 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 a smaller fan so then I can make a hidden ceiling fan in this light. But I do have another lamp that I am restoring, so I'm planning on replacing this lamp with the other one. So then I can basically make a hidden ceiling fan, because that would be a fun thing to do. So, yep, I know this is a modern fan, but I bought it anyway because I thought this was some pretty smart technology. And I'll show you the information for you. If the camera will focus. I know that's not the tag I was talking about. This, this is right here. This is the information. It's model number 2299. 120 volts, AC, 60 hertz, 29 watts, and the date is November 2023. So, I thought this would be a weakling looking at it, yeah, but I, but being this fan has a lot of hype, like it was a very powerful fan and it has a good light on it, I wanted to see it for myself because... I am the incandescent type of guy, but I wonder if this fan could replace incandescent light bulbs in my house. It won't replace all of them, definitely, because of how expensive this is, but... But it certainly will be a part of me when I'm an adult and I have my own house. If I have recessed lights, I will happily put this in there. But here is the light. This is dim. This is medium. This is bright. I'll probably mostly use dim because one of the cons with LED lights for me is that they are so bright that the that they would blind me in the eyes. And uh, yeah, I wish they would make a lower color temperature. This is 5000K. I think they do make a 3500K of these uh, ceiling fans, but... Uh, I don't know if they're still sold. I think I vaguely recall someone telling me that the 3500K versions are discontinued, which is kind of a disappointment because I'd rather have a lower color temperature, to be quite honest. But uh, this would be good in the kitchen or something like that. So this is low. It is very quiet. And for for a low speed, it's actually still pushing a pretty good amount of air. Like, even right here, I can see, feel a small amount of airflow. I'm sure this fan will move much more air if it was in a more practical application. Well, I'd say this is a nice amount of airflow for 29 watts of power. Or this is probably much less than that. I'm sure the 29 watts is 
assuming you have both the fan and the light on. Use medium. If I remember correctly, the light output at maximum would be about 1,000 lumens, which I don't know what wattage of incandescent bulb that would equivalent be, be equivalent to, but I think this is a pretty nice product for what it is. Being modern and uh, rather expensive for the size, I'd say this is a pretty good product. But this is also newer technology, so I think those will eventually lower in price as time goes on. And here's I. Wow, that thing is strong. One thing I think they really should have done in the design is make one that spins counterclockwise because as you saw previously as the video goes on, this light uh, turned counterclockwise a little bit, but that's because of the torque of the motor. And I mean, it's kind of for obvious reasons. Like if it keeps torquing like that, it could unscrew out the light bulb socket and make it crash to the ground. And on top of that, because this lamp is on a swag kit, it could untwist this hook right there. Which could make the lamp fall to the ground, and that would not be good. And here's off. And I'll show you guys another feature that I think is a little sketchy here. When you press the on button, it turns the light on full brightness, but not the fan. This doesn't really seem right to me, but I wonder if that's normal or not. And then we turn it off, it turns off everything like, oh, turn the fan to medium and the light to low. We turn it to the off setting, it turns off everything. So, and also getting this fan installed with a breeze all you have to do is click in the blades to the uh, blade brackets it, and it's really easy you just snap right in place and then you just screw it into a light bulb socket and you're done that's all it takes to get this fan installed i think it's a pretty good nice design so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys later.